Hi, hello there. Welcome back to Coding 101. On this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use standard template library DEC in a C++ program. Let me fire up my C++ here. All right. So let's start with our code here. Okay. So this program illustrates how to use a deck container in a program. So that's why we have here sharp include deck. Okay. So we have the sharp include uh, algorithm for our copy operator. And then of course you've got the sharp include iterator here. Okay. Now on this video demonstration, so let me start with line eight here. Okay. You've got line eight and line nine. Now for line eight, this declares a deck container, just like a vector. So the name is int deck of type integer. That is all the elements of int deck are of type integer. Okay. So the statement on line nine declares screen to be an stream iterator initialized to standard output device. Okay. Now lines 10 through 13. Okay. So this is our pushback operator, just like in vector. Okay. So this time it has been utilized on deck. Okay. So the statements in lines 10 through 13 use the pushback operation to insert four numbers. 13, 75, 28, and 35 onto our intake. Okay? So something like to illustrate it, let me use an Excel here. Okay? So we've got 13, okay, 75, 28, and then 35 there. Okay, so assuming that this would be our container here. Okay, so let me just maximize or increase the size of the font. Okay. So basically, this would be our container here or our array. Okay. So you've got 13, 75, 28, and 35. Okay. Now, line 14. Okay. Line 14, in tech, and then line 15, you've got copy in tech that begin. That means it is pointed to 13. This is that begin here. In deck that end, which is a 35, and then send it to the screen or copy it on the screen. So when we compile this, we are expecting that this container values here will be displayed on the screen. So let's do that. So let me compile this. All right. So the in deck container has these values here. So you've got 13, 75, 28, and 35. All right. Now let us further modify the code like what we did on vector. Okay. And say I'm going to insert another lines of code on our source program. So let me just close this. Okay. Now I have inserted here line 17 to line 21 okay so this time we will be using the function push front and push back okay so line 17 and 18 for line 17 it inserts zero at the beginning of the int deck and line 18 inserts 100 at the end of the int deck so basically if we're going to go back to our excel here so the int deck that push front says that we have inserted zero here okay let me just insert zero insert okay zero here so this is let me just increment it and then 100 here okay so let me just increment the font size there so that we have a uniform okay a uniform size you've got this one Okay, so this is what we meant by the last command there. So we are going to have index that push front zero and index that push back one hundred. Okay, 
So the statements line 20 outputs the modified index. So basically, when we compile this, okay, and then run it. So we are expecting that on line 19, okay, so you've got 0, 13, 75, 28, 35, and 100. Okay, so that is what we meant by push front inserting value in front and push back inserting value at the end of the container and then we copy it in deck that begin which is zero in deck that end which is pointed to 100 and then copy it on the screen okay now let's have further modification on our program so let's say we are going to insert another line of code there so something like okay so let's insert line 22 onwards okay so line 22 means index pop the front or pop front and then pop uh front twice okay so pop means we are going to clear or delete okay the values at the beginning of the container so that's pop front so let me go back to our excel here take a look at we have 0 and 13 here okay if we are going to pop front this value so this would be this one pop front for 13 so pop front twice so your container value would be 75 28 35 and 100 so copy in deck that begin which is a 75 end at 100 and then send it to the screen so let's compile this code and see the effect okay so at line 24 you have something like 75 28 35 and 100 okay so let's have an additional code okay so say we are going to have pop back okay so let me insert an additional code here so this time let's say we have here index that pop back and then index that pop back so in here previously on line 22 and 23 you have pop front so this time we are going to pop the values at the tail of the container so going back to our excel there pop back okay so you'll have this okay pop back so delete or clear pop back delete or clear and then index that begin is pointed to 75 and then index that end is pointed to 28 and then copy that on the screen so we are expecting that when we compile this okay so we only have these values here so after removing the last two elements you've got 75 and 28 there okay so that is the index that pop back okay next let's have another demo here okay so say i'm going to have additional code okay so this would be our last line of code here okay so line 33 or line 32 to 38 okay so basically on line 33 or line 32 first it declares deck it okay it declares deck it to be a deck iterator that processes all the containers whose elements are of type integer so after the statement in line 33 executes you've got deck it that in deck that begin okay deck it points to the first element of in deck okay pointed to the first element of index and then on line 34 it advances deck it to the next elements of index okay and then on line 35 we are going to insert 444 into the index at the position specified by deck it okay and then on line 37 okay so we output the index 
So what will happen here is, okay, so going back to our illustration here. So index.begins is pointed to 75. And then we advance this, okay, onto the second element, so which is on 28. And then at 28, we inserted 444. So you've got something like 444 here. Okay, so this would be the value of our containers or container. Okay, so you've got 75, 444, and 28. So after inserting 444, you've got inject.begin, which is at 75, end at 28, and then we copy it on the screen. So we are expecting that the 75, 444, and 28 would be the value of the inject. So let's go back to our code, compile it, and then run. So here we go. So you've got after inserting 444, index is at 75, 444, and 28. All right. So that's the end of this video demonstration on STL. See you on the next video. Have a great day.